I talked about how I hated this setup for the uh, cinder block weight. I feel like if you have something like this, chances are you're probably going to have some of the quick attach weights or, you know, whatever, you know, generic suitcase weight you may have for your garden tractor. So I'm going to see if I can do something better with this, uh, utilizing what I actually have right here available and uh, see if we can, you know, do something that may work a little bit better. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do, take this off completely. So I'm going to tip that back. Unfortunately, with the side plates and scarifier bar, that might be a little hard. I think I'll just take it off the blade first. Alright, so now that we have this off, I think for now, we're going to invert the placement of these bolts. So, in the actual build, you have the shorter one inch bolts in the top, and then the one and a quarter inch bolts in the bottom. We're going to flip flop that. Next, what we're going to do is take apart the weight bracket now I think let's see really take these back out and I'm going to build this with it flipped up so it's a little bit easier I'm going to set that there alright so this is going to be a little bit complicated for me but I think I'm going to put a little hint to go to this bonus content at the beginning of the video, should you choose to do this, if it works. So I'm going to have to get this plate back on. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I might have to do it on the tractor. Let's go back up to the back of the tractor. I'll put it on there and then we'll go from there. But basically, I'm gonna take these and where these brackets you put upside down like that, angled side towards the blade, we're gonna flip that upside down this way and it's gonna go on the top. As you can see, this would be much easier to do in the first place. All right, got it loosely held on there. So now we'll go through, put the small ones back in the bottom. This time utilizing that flat washer and the lock washer. And of course, nothing wants to play nice when all the weight's hanging on it. Brackets are going to look something like that. And we'll tighten them down. Actually, do the other part first, too. So now Look at that, those holes line up real well. So we'll take our other carriage bolts, put them through there, put them on there, put our lock washer back on, 
Put our nut back on and repeat. We'll tighten those ones up first, actually. And then tighten the rest. quick attach weight. You can hang it there. You can hang it there. And granted, that's a lot of weight. So you're looking at probably 70 pounds for the blade plus another 40 to 42 pounds for the suitcase weight. Um, it looks like I'd, you'd probably only really be able to get one in the center here, but you could put two if you put one on either end, three. Uh, if you really wanted, but you're going to need probably more than what this sleeve hitch can do if you're wanting to put three on there. But, uh, I mean, you can see there, you can put an extra 40 pounds on this. How well it'll lift it, I really don't know. Um, of course, you are so far from the pivot point here that you're going to be adding a lot of weight just based off the fact that you have this much of distance. Now, I know there's a calculation you can do to actually determine how much weight is on that pivot point and on that lift arm as opposed to how much this thing actually weighs. But uh, this is a better looking way for sure uh, of putting some weight on this box blade. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'll probably use it like this. Um, it makes more sense to me than using a goofy cinder block or something. Uh, it just looks better. So there you can see, it doesn't cost any extra money. Um, it's easy to do, it didn't take that long. Uh, I would just definitely recommend doing this in the first place rather than afterward like I did. That way it's all easily movable around. You don't got to actually have it hooked up to the tractor like this. It would have been a pain in the butt trying to do that without it on the tractor or if you don't do it in the beginning. So uh, hopefully that helped. Hopefully that's a good idea. Um, hopefully it'll work. Uh, I can't use it quite yet, but I'll be excited to use it when the time comes. Thanks for watching again. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one.